The COVID era of tax breaks is a thing of the past. What that means for you as you prepare to file for your return, that's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. And I'm Lisa Washington. Tax season is just around the corner. And if you normally get a tax refund this year, it may be smaller. Newswatch 16's Emily Kress talked to tax experts in Luzerne County about why that is. Tax preparers are gearing up for the latest changes in tax filings. Everything is back in check with how everything was prior to uh, the pandemic. Liberty Tax Service near Pittston is already getting phone calls from people asking what's new. This year's refunds may be smaller than we saw during the pandemic. Several COVID era tax breaks have come to an end. If everybody remembers in 21, they had the advanced child tax credit payment. So if they were getting that monthly payment for their children's throughout the year, the refund might not change as much. So it is a case by case scenario. The earned income credit levels did increase. The standard deduction levels did increase due to inflation. The tax brackets changed. So it, it all depends on how your withholding is. Tax experts say it's better to wait until you have all of those necessary documents before you file. But don't expect that refund check right away if you are able to file early. A law passed in 2015 is designed to prevent tax fraud, but it can also slow down your refund. What happens with the PATH Act, they don't start processing returns with refundable credits until after February 15th. So even if your return gets accepted now, don't think it's, you're getting your refund within 21 days. You may have to wait. Tax day this year is April 18th. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.